first off, I'd like to thank uh, everyone for showing up tonight, uh, as well as to Community uh, Online and the Chamber of Commerce for hosting this event. Uh, my family moved here eight years ago, and I feel it's the best decision we've ever made in our lives. Uh, never have I seen such a community that's been compassionate and uh, caring as, as Miramichi. And the reason why I wanted to get into politics is partly to, to give back to the community and to, to make a difference and make a change. Uh, there are many issues tonight that I've been wanting to discuss and I only have the three minutes. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, getting more youth involved in uh, city politics. Um, building a new homeless shelter, um, but I've decided to focus on two pressing issues uh, that are concerning the city right now. Uh, and the first one uh, is the roads, and the roads are in a continual state of disrepair. Uh, infrastructure spending uh, in the last few years has exceeded a million dollars in general, and I see cul-de-sacs that are sinking into the ground. I'm seeing roads that are neglected for years on end, and potholes filled with dirt that I've forgotten about. What I haven't seen are the lines on the roads, uh, which when I'm driving, if I wasn't from here, I wouldn't know uh, where I was on the road. They seem to last only a few months after being painted and uh, a new council should focus on making appropriate reforms to the, uh, how we conduct infrastructure spending. The current state of the roads is a safety hazard in many areas. And that brings me to my second uh, issue that I wish to talk about. For years now, our fire department has been struggling with the duty of protecting people of Miramichi, with only a fraction of what they require to do so. The National Fire Protection Association has standards in place to not only protect the firefighters active on the field, but also to safeguard the people involved in incidents. And the current standard uh, of active firefighters uh, to respond to these incidents is uh, four. Uh, four per station. And what we have at the moment uh, sits around one, or two if we're lucky. Uh, there are only uh, around 20 firefighters uh, manning uh, all of Miramichi and the surrounding areas uh, full time, and we have a dwindling amount of volunteer firefighters. The past few weeks uh, even have had them pull double shifts, and the no burn order in the province currently only adds to the potential danger. What is left is a group of exhausted men who are struggling because there are, they are overworked and they are understaffed. And this needs to change. If elected, it will be my first priority to ensure that there is room in the budget to keep this community safe. Thank you. Uh, priority would be to make sure that uh, things in the budget are reallocated to suit needs. Um, but if there was uh, a difference left over, then I feel that any increase uh, to account for that difference would be well worth the spending. Uh, 